近些年，全球变暖、气候变迁似乎越来越被频繁的提及。在美国，有科学家就在积极的研究如何从大气中移除二氧化碳，以达到减缓温室效应的目的。请看本台驻纽约记者发布的采访报道。美国哥伦比亚大学的物理学家克劳斯·莱科纳教授，多年来一直致力于减少大气中二氧化碳的研究。起初，莱科纳为发电厂设计二氧化碳零排放模型，但很快他意识到，大气中加速聚集的温室气体，很大程度上来自于人们乘坐飞机、驾驶汽车等日常活动。But I realized that roughly half of all the emissions we have actually do not come from power plants or other big sources, but they come from airplanes, from cars. From houses, so in maybe 1998, I started to th ask the question: Would it actually be possible to pull the carbon dioxide back out of the atmosphere? 莱克纳和他的同事经过大量实验，发现了一种可以从大气中捕捉二氧化碳的材料——阴离子交换树脂膜。这种材料可以被批量生产，一公斤大约三到五美元。This particular material. Is an anionic exchange resin which has the property that it really likes CO2. It really absorbs CO2 when it's dry, and if you make it wet, it doesn't bind CO2 very well anymore, and it gives it back. So we have therefore the possibility to absorb CO2 in the wind. You could have imagined materials which look like this, and as the wind blows by, they absorb the CO2 out of the air, and then you put it into a place which is much moister. So either you add spray water on it, or you can just put it in a little greenhouse like that. And because the air inside a greenhouse is very moist, it will then release the CO2 it absorbed in the dry air. This green box is the design of Lyko and his colleagues. The green light shows the natural light of the sun. Sensor measurements show that when the solution of the green light is added to the air, the density of the air in the air is increased. 这些二氧化碳可以通过光合作用被植物吸收利用，如此一来便完成了碳捕捉与碳封存的循环。莱克纳认为，在沙漠等缺水地带，这种方法可以有效地帮助人工大棚提高作物产量。不过，这种吸附剂膜材料仍属于石油衍生物，它是否可以被无限地使用下去？如果石油枯竭？人们又如何制造这种材料 ？The material, I suspect, cannot be reused forever. However, the material you see here is by now six years old, and we expect to get many, many cycles out of it.、Uh, if you buy this material today, it is made from petroleum. There is no question about it. But this is another application we have in mind. If you have Unlimited energy, let's say wind energy or solar energy, or maybe even nuclear energy, but energy which doesn't produce CO2. If I now use the energy I have and the CO2 as carbon, I can now produce a synthetic oil, right? And thereby I can make this material synthetically. 听上去，这种移除温室气体的方法既经济环保又持续可行。那么，究竟是什么原因阻碍了这项技术在全球更广泛地被加以利用 ？The world isn't really yet concerned about climate change. Nobody really pays money for pulling CO2 back out, and until that happens, it's very hard to find a business rationale to make this happen. So I think it will take time, and what it really will take is a realization that climate change is upon us and is a real problem. 莱克纳指出，虽然靠从空气中移除二氧化碳还不能完全解决全球变暖问题，但人类迟早需要使用类似手段消除温室气体，才有希望抗击气候变化带来的恶果。And the IPCC recently said we cannot solve the climate change problem anymore unless we have what they call negative emissions, which means that we actually take more CO2 out in a given year than we put into the atmosphere. And I would argue, if you want to do that, you need air capture. Feng Huawei, Liu Bingying, Wang Mu, New York News.